Welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 and welcome back to the Empire of Ireland. Today, uh, I think we're finally going to try and get ourselves out of debt. Let's go ahead and unpause so we can uh, get carried away with that straight away. We are currently fabricating some hooks as well, so hopefully we can use that for some bribes to get some extra gold and that should accelerate things. Uh, greetings, Emperor Aidan of Ireland. Our recent correspondence has been a source of joy for me. I cannot help but think that we might both benefit from increased communication. So that's my matriarch there. That's excellent. Hopefully, if we can improve that relation, she can go ahead and give me some extra taxes. She's only giving me 3.8 gold per month at the moment out of a possible 11.1. .1. So if we got that, we would actually be in the green, which is desperately needed. Everyone gets naked sometime. The hard part is ensuring that the troop of jugglers enter Queen Ifni's chambers at just the right time. And that there are enough servants around to speculate about the ensuing chaos. I suspect Eifley would do anything to prevent me from stoking the flames of the following rumours. Um, uh, let's go in and send in the entertainers. Why not? Uh, and there we go. We have uh, fabricated a hook on the Queen of England there, I believe. Yes, <laughs> uh, so that's looking good. Uh, we're, we've gone ahead and done that. We sadly don't have the skill we need. What is this skill? Golden Obligations. We're still working on unlocking this. We're not that far away from getting a stewardship perk, though, which is good news. Uh, I think what we should also do, I think we can bribe other kings of other realms, right? What if we were, say, to bribe or get a hook on the Queen of Germany? They are very rich. If I go ahead and fabricate a hook in here, maybe we can go ahead and uh, bribe her for some gold. She might be able to pay us quite a bit there. Uh, we can always go ahead and try it. Passing through my court, I notice an unrecognized face approached me. My most sensible liege, I'm Arod, former courtier of your cousin, King Krundmel. Oh, okay. Uh, so the King of Wales here, he absolutely hates me. Oh dear, uh, wants a seat on the council. Uh, it's gluttonous, doesn't like that, just versus arbitrary. Imprisoned family member. Yeah, I've done a lot of stuff here to annoy my cousin. Uh, he has asked me to present myself before you and partake in your court. He has also given me a letter of introduction that only you may read. Then he hands me an enclosed letter. After breaking the seal, the letter simply reads, Dear Aiden, please assassinate the bearer of this letter, Crundmill. Oof. <laughs> oh dear. He knows I'm a murderer. Hmm... You've been marked for death. Flee while you can. Yes, uh, I will warn him because my, my cousin already hates me. And we all know what my cousins uh, think of me. We tortured one uh, at the end of the last episode. What's this? Ransom. To the sensible Aiden, Duke Gospatrick is dear to me. Would you let him go in return for this offer? 50 gold. Now, this is the cousin that we're currently torturing. He is, in fact, now a lunatic. So maybe my job here is done. Uh, he's a lunatic. He, he's near death as well. So actually, let's make a, a profit out of this. We'll, we'll take the 50 gold because soon enough he's going to be dead anyway. Uh, seems like we injured him a little bit too much with all of our torturing there. We are also increasing our levies again, which is nice. Pray, St. Bridget. Ermengard has given birth to a perfect little daughter. Who will you become, my child, and what shall I call you? Uh, let's see. I think uh, Balfield? Yeah, that's fine. Why not? Uh, may you go strong and wise, my daughter. Oh dear, where have you gone? There she is. Let's go ahead and uh, give you an education here. Uh, my matriarch. She would gain opinion of me for this. You know what? Uh, let's do that. I'm going to let my matriarch teach my, uh, uh, my youngest daughter here. The weakness that has plagued my daughter since her birth has finally released its hold on her. Relief washes over me as I see Caitlin running around with all the other children. May you go strong, Caitlin. Uh, there we go. That is good news indeed. In fact, Caitlin, uh, she's also rowdy. So we could train her in intrigue. Let's do that. Uh, and can I educate her myself? Let's go ahead and remove Guardian. And then what I'm going to do is educate Child. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not able to. But my wife is also very good at intrigue, so let's go ahead and do that. Oh, my wife was already a guardian. Oh dear. Uh, and then my youngest child here. I need to just pin you, just so I can keep an eye on your age here. So when you turn three, we can also give you an appropriate guardian. Christian pilgrims to the Holy Land suffer all manner of abuse. 
and their roots are fraught with danger. In order to protest for pilgrims and secure Jerusalem for Christ and the faithful, His Holiness Pope Urbanus has accepted the possibility of an outright invasion by joint Christian forces. The theological ramifications of this news are already being discussed by several notable members of our clergy who are eager to follow the example of the Catholics and begin a new age of religious warfare in the name of Irish Orthodox. St. George protect us. We now have access to Crusade. It's 1058 and Christianity only just gained access to Crusades. Doesn't it usually happen much earlier? That feels quite late. Um, maybe my memory's a bit foggy. Uh, my treasury is empty, my lard are barren, even the rats have been sold to pay for my expenses, yet I am still unable to pay all of the debts I owe. How can I possibly get out of this situation? That's something I'm asking myself as well. Um, let's see. Uh, I will owe Duke Megistos here is willing to give me a, uh, 135 gold for a favour. We could also confiscate church property to raise funds. I think we might do that. Let's go ahead and confiscate church property. Uh, I'm sure the Horned God would approve of this, so it's fine. That would gain us a little bit of gold, but we're, we're, we're still in the hole very much. Minus 388 there. At least the Liberty faction is gone. What is our faction situation looking like? Yeah, uh, it's a situation. <laughs> the villainy of King Ulf and all the house Ivering is beyond doubt, but it is, uh, but is it seemly for the family of an emperor to bicker with that of a king? Ulf's reciprocated rivalry with me is unforgivable, but should we demand uh, demean ourselves, wasting time on such little people? Now we're arbitrary, so we can't pick that king or emperor. Justice must be served, and we're going to continue this feud on. Eventually, we should probably murder him or something. The existence of my plot to fabricate a hook on King Grindmel has been discovered. While my involvement is not yet known, this will make it a lot more diff difficult to bring my plans to fruition. It, it's still it's still got a good chance, Phil. So uh, we're going to continue with this. I have managed to sway my matriarch. Oh, there we go. She's given us a, a maximum amount of gold now. So we're in the positive, at least our income. Uh, so what I should do here is we can stop swaying you. And I will actually go ahead and sway my spy master. Let's just get some good relations going there. And as you can see, because of our newfound wealth, we're actually able to pay more men at arms now. So we should also raise some more men at arms and levies. Uh, alliance expired. That's the Queen of Moldavia has passed away there. Catholic rulers invigorated by a quarter arms of Pope Urbanus. I've started to gather a large host of zealots to wage a crusade against all enemies in the cross of England. Uh, more and more fanatics are drawn in every day in what will soon be a mighty army of the cross assembled to bring war upon our lands. We can only pray that St. George will grant Queen Eiffany the courage and fortitude to stand against the tide of infidels. Of the cross in England. Okay. Uh, St. George, protect us from these infidels. Uh, so are they in a holy, in a crusade? I don't think so. How is the religion side of things looking? I think Christianity in general is uh, quite sizable here. My spy master has come to me with grave news while we do not yet know who. Know who. Someone is plotting to kill my son, Regan. Oh dear. Uh, yeah, we must stop whoever's behind this. In fact... Let's go ahead and put my spy master on disrupt schemes. I really want to go ahead and find out who that is uh, ASAP, really. We, we don't want that happening. And there we go. There is a, a crusade for the Kingdom of England. What's this? I'm a little bit confused. The Catholic... Okay, crusade for the Kingdom of England. Are English not... <gasps> The Catholics are fighting the Irish Orthodox. That's us. Oh, wow. That's a big gap in military strength. I didn't get a pop-up. Maybe I'm about to. Oh, we're so screwed. Oh, wow. <laughs> we are screwed. We, we can... We have a holy order, though. That's another 5,000. I can't hire them. Not at war with someone of a hostile faith. 
They are pledged to join the crusade for the king. Okay, you're going to join the crusade anyway. But it's not showing you as part of the crusade yet, is it? Oh, no, it is. Okay, military strength. Wow. Um, This is problematic. Will we get a pop-up? Uh, if it does a pond for carbs you are interested in, I can build you a terrific one, my lord. The builder before me has good credentials and my courtiers seem very excited about the prospect. We can't afford the gold. That's the problem. Uh, stop wasting my time. There we go. <laughs> we don't have time for carbs. Uh, we're about to start a, a holy war. Are we... Is England fighting another war here? Okay, they're also... Okay, they're currently fighting in another war. Launches in 13 months. Ah, okay, so the Holy War hasn't started yet. Yeah, but they're about to. Okay, we need to get out of debt, but I don't think we can get out of debt that fast. The existence of my plot to fabricate a hook on Queen Gisela has been discovered. Oh, okay, that's... We should probably just go ahead and cancel that one. That one doesn't really stand a chance anymore, does it? Uh, so let's go ahead and abandon that. What I might do is go ahead and fabricate... Uh, you have a bit of gold. Yeah, why not? Let's go ahead and fabricate a hook on the uh, King Louis the Fourth here of West Francia. Maybe we can get some gold there. And there we go. Uh, new stewardship perk. So we can go ahead and get golden obligations. Let's also swap back to this. Okay, we can't swap back this just yet. When can I change back? I always forget how to see this. we we'll just have to keep checking every now and then. Ah, here we go. Uh, wait until 30th of November 1060. That's not that far away. Right, what we can do now, though, is we can demand payments. That's 50 gold. Uh, 37 gold. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take all of the gold. Another 50 gold. This might actually get us out of debt. <laughs> uh, there we go. Finally made... Oh, look at that. 100 gold. Uh, I think this will, in fact, get us out of debt. That's another 100 gold. Okay, um, we can't do that. Oh, there we go. I just pressed it twice, I think. I was running uh, a bit too fast. Uh, oh, look at this. We're, we're absolutely raking in the gold right now. Uh, nine gold. That's eh, fine. You can only pay me 15 and away. Uh, 49, that's fine. It's only a loss of one. Another 10 gold there. That's fine. I'll take the five gold. That was my son, I think. Uh, another five gold there as well. Oh, my nephew. There we go. <laughs> right. Uh, we're out of debt. Somehow, though, let's go ahead and tick all this off. Uh, we're losing a lot of money. I think that's because we're paying for new men at arms to be raised. Inspired person could be sponsored. Let's not bother with that. What I will do now is go ahead and check if we can get any blackmails. Uh, so my cousin here, let's go ahead and... Oh, he's minus gold anyway. Um, so in fact, I'm just going to expose that. He's going to be dead. Soon, well, at least he's poor. Uh, my wife here doesn't have any gold. She's a... Oh, yeah, we don't want to expose my wife. <laughs> I'm the one that made her a deviant. The following faction has disbanded Anglo-Saxon Catholic populists. Sounds uh, interesting, right? Once this gets raised, this should... Uh, the gold should increase, I imagine. At least that's what I'm hoping. My spy master has come to me with grave news while we do not yet know who... Yet know who. Someone is plotting to kill me? Oh, that's not good. My spy master is on disrupt schemes. That's good. What I might do is put my wife on managed domain. Just to help our income momentarily. We kind of need to get out of a, uh, get out of this negative income. My agents have made contact with Amar, a servant in my acquaintance, King Louis' castle. With the right incentive, he is willing to start some whispers about King Louis not being nearly as venerable as he seems. Uh, a sympathetic ear to close uh, ear close to him is enough. Yeah, that's fine. We don't want to spend gold. <laughs> we just got out of debt. My daughter's more likely to receive a, a good education. That's fine. And we just failed a uh, fabrication. That's this one. Why don't we just abandon that then? And we'll try and get a more valuable hook. Uh, do you have gold? You have a little bit of gold. Let's try and get a fabrication in here. That should help us. We can demand wars. We can imprison criminals. The problem is I don't want to raise any armies right now. So let's not go ahead and do that. Things are starting to look on the up. However, 
This is uh, this is still scaring me. They heavily outnumber us, which is problematic. Uh, the Queen of Scotland finished increased county control. Do we need to be increasing control anyway? Athlone. Let's go ahead and do that. Just before we uh, go to war, of course. There we go. And I think that that's already done. I oh, know. Not quite yet. That's all looking fine. The twist and turns of fate have not always been to my advantage. God knows while I was cursed. The day I met Duke Gospatric. Today, however, that curse has been lifted. Fate has smiled upon me and brought that blathering fob doodle to his grave. There we go. My cousin who I tortured is finally dead. And not one day too soon either. We'll leave some stress to that, thankfully. How is a gold looking? Once these men at arms are... Uh, fully replenished. We should be okay. Let's just keep an eye on that. Um, <laughs> that's the problem without being in debt. Uh, my daughter's learned the Doyle Volga language as well. That's from my wife. So uh, she's going to have a better uh, education and chances for that. Hopefully. And there we go. The income's looking better. Now that we've paid off most of those uh, men at arms and such. I have managed to increase my standing with my spy master as well. Greetings, my serene liege. I have arrived in Dublin to pay homage to you, glorious emperor. As a show of my loyalty, I bring you rich gifts worthy of your majesty as a token of my goodwill and servitude. Let's go ahead and show her in at once. I wait patiently on my throne for the arrival of Duchess Derbergale, who is soon announced and ushered before me. She kneels in deference as attendants bring forth her gifts of coin and precious objects. The oath is taken and scribes record her pledges to serve the Empire of Ireland. At last, I bid the Duchess arise, confirming my satisfaction and Derbigel's rights to the land she rules in my stead. So she's given us some gold there, which is important. <laughs> uh, gold is the one thing we want to be stockpiling right now. Because uh, we know how expensive wars can be after that war with Sweden. Uh, and I think we're about to have a, a very expensive war here uh, against the Catholics. Wow, there's no way we win this, right? Unless we can convert some people before the war happens. Is that possible? We need a new marshal. My knight, my vassal. Sure. Uh, King Daedric of Frisio is a complicated man. I need to understand him as well as possible if I am to convince people to take my side in any upcoming arguments. I will soon uncover the truth of him, yes. People describe King Daedric as both modest and impotent, which tells me more about their relationship to him than anything else. Also, a curious number of people mention how often he gently bites his lip and talks about court alliances. Uh, I'm sure this information will be useful. Uh, we'll find a way. Uh, there we go. Another faction disbands, which is useful. Let's go ahead and get rid of that for now. Okay. Taken prisoner. That uh, all sounds interesting. Now, I don't need to keep an eye on you guys anymore because we've already defined your education. I will keep an eye on my player, Aaron Sun, though, uh, and you because you don't have a focus yet. Right. Let's go ahead and look at some of the biggest attackers in here. Now, these are all holy orders, right? Yeah, no beneficiary. Oh, no. No. I don't think we're going to be able to convince many of these. These guys aren't even bringing soldiers. So where's all the manpower coming from? Total soldiers military strength is up here though. Because it says. They have 82,000 oh, military strength. Okay. Oh dear. I didn't know Catholics could declare war against Irish Orthodox just because we're both Christians. <laughs> oh, usually they go to war of um, uh, Islam. Right. I mean, we're not going to convert the Pope, are we? There's, n there's no way yet. It's not even an option. That's uh, kind of silly for checking. What about you? Yeah, we can't check you because you guys... So anyone dressed like this is worthless. Um... Can we convince you? No. I don't think anyone's close enough to demand conversion. I don't know how we're going to get away with this. 
We might be able to murder the Pope. However, it launches in 23 days. So it might be a bit too late for that. Although murdering the Pope, we could do. What would that do for things for in the in the Holy War? Okay, let's try it. I've never tried this before. Uh, this one's done in two months, so we'll keep that one. I want to get this done right away. Let's go ahead and uh, uh, murder the Pope. I didn't think I'd be saying that today when I woke up this morning. <laughs> oh, I do love Crusader Kings 3. Uh, what's this? We've finished converting faith. That's nice. Uh, war declared to the cold-hearted Emperor Aiden. Your false religion has kept your subject in the darkness for too long. In the name of God, I shall bring you the true faith to them and free them for your blasphemy. So the crusade for the Kingdom of England is underway. Oh, dear. Let's go ahead and rally the troops. The hordes of infidels rallied by Pope Urban as have begun their march on England. These savage warriors, clearly inspired by Satan, will ravage our lands and slaughter our people without mercy if we do not stop them. For the good, for the good of all Irish Orthodox faithful in England, we must prevail. Uh, St. George protect us all right. We have a personal grudge now against the Catholics. There's no, no debate about that at all. This is really worrying. I'm not sure how we're going to do this. This is really, really concerning. Now, the good news is, if we do lose this, the only thing, like, um, if I press this, what happens? We just lose the Kingdom of England, right? Yes. 42,000 gold. Woohoo! Can, can I... Wow, that's... A, okay. Oh, 4,200 gold for me. Right, let's go ahead and raise the men. We should have banners somewhere down here. In fact, let's just go ahead and add a banner. What we really want to do is maybe try and intercept. We probably want to try and intercept any armies that invade just as they disembark so we get those bonuses it looks like west frankia didn't join and also germany didn't join so we so we've got a, a little bit lucky here but um oh dear this is gonna hurt the bank isn't it let's go ahead and put you on organized army we need that what i'm also gonna do is put my wife back on intrigue uh, no doubt about it. We're, we're, we're going to go bankrupt and we're probably going to go bankrupt hard. Enemy holy order. Oh dear. Do we have ours already hired? Okay. That's good. We've got some commanders going on here. We have someone in our courts. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look. Uh, my liege, a word, please. My Chancellor, Duke Magistos, approaches me during a brief lull while attending court matters. He gestures to a less populated spot in the room and I follow him there. I'm concerned about the state of Dublin Castle. While holding a meeting in one of the rooms, we all noticed a horrific smell. It must have come from the latrines a floor below. I implore you to consider paying to fix the neglected parts of the building. Oh, I really can't right now. Just plug the hole in the floor. <laughs> we're, we're, we're already we're already occupied uh, when it comes to spending. Oh, look at that! Uh, the men of the men of Ireland, the Emperor of Ireland, are standing to defend England. It has come to my attention that some local commoners are moving to Krauku, the capital of my spy master, Duke Erdred. Locals, newly settled or not, praising me can surely do no harm to his perception of me. Uh, it's not worth it. Um, again, we have other uh, we have other focuses for our gold right now. King Louis has something to hide. It would seem lucky for me. I don't have to be quite as created with how I get him in my grip. Let's see. Uh, all I have to do is let him know what I know. Yes. Uh, so that gives us the hook. Uh, notable guest has arrived. Let's ignore that for the moment. Uh, I'm passing through the castle gardens for a morning walk when a soft breeze carries the voices of Balfield and Bard up to my ear. The two courtiers are talking to each other in a secluded spot nearby, frequently glancing around to make sure nobody is listening. While it is hard for me to make out most of their words from a distance, it is clear that the discussions relate to Queen Eifne. Okay. Uh, if only I could get a bit closer. 
I managed to get closer to the two courtiers without them noticing me. They seem to be discussing Queen Eiffany's private life and some unsavory habit of hers. Attempted murder. Ooh, we could blackmail her and then uh, we can demand payment for that. There we go. Uh, King Louis is going to give us 150 gold for that. Let's also go in here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and blackmail the Queen of England. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, I do want the gold vote. So, we, so we're going to have to do that. Oh, the murder has gone right down, hasn't it? Yeah, it's gone right down. Maybe a 5% chance is something we have to hope for, though. Uh, because if it does happen, that's looking very good. There we go. So we've got a hook on the Queen of England. Let's go ahead and demand payment for that one. And let's carry on raising the men. Do we have supply issues here? I don't think so. Where are the enemy going to attack from? They could attack uh, on the east. They could attack on the southern coast. Um, uh, it's, 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 oh, there we go. We see some of them. Okay, they're going to land in Cornwall. So to Cornwall, we must march. At least there's the, the first wave of attacks there. Oh, there's people coming on the east as well uh, it's too late we've already committed to Cornwall uh, there's a lot of units over there if we can go ahead and uh, uh, attack them we should be doing okay are my allies following me for the most part not really I don't think oh dear my wife Empress Ermengarde is once again absent from our chambers as night falls she's been distant lately lost in fort and rarely seen at court Am I not to her satisfaction? Is she simply busy or could she be warming someone else's bed? I will investigate this myself. My misgivings were not unfounded. I have found evidence of Ermengarde's infidelity. The lying snake has welcomed my vassal Earl Wolfgeet into her bed. As far as I can tell, it only happened once. It is cold comfort. Wait, are you the one that I caught in the window as well? I'm going to expose them. Everyone will know of your treachery. Wow. I knew it. I knew it. But now we have proof at least. Um, okay, some of our allies are coming to assist us. I wish a few more of them would be though. <laughs> it's not uh, very optimal. Okay, here we go for the battle then. Uh, there's our other allies coming in. We should be able to win this first battle of the Holy War. My spymaster has come to me with grave news. It is Olwen Ivering, a noble woman from Bregney that is plotting against my son Regan. Okay, at least we've discovered that, so we should be able to fight against it at least. Can imprison criminals. Let's not go ahead and do that. There we go, the game kept on pausing there. Right, it looks like battle one has gone in our favour. However, the war is still very much ongoing. We've captured an enemy combatant. We're going to go ahead and keep them in the dungeon just for the safety. Make sure information doesn't get uh, passed around. We can demand payment. That's my daughter. Let's wait until she has a, a little bit more gold. Right. So we've won the first battle. Wow. Let's go ahead and uh, disrupt this. We should be able to take out these guys fairly easily. It looks like my friend has also died there. Um, that's unfortunate. Today, Fiapano held a fiery sermon for all of the children of the court. They were apparently spellbound as he zealously read from the scriptures. My son Regan keeps telling me about how much he enjoyed the passages about Satan and how he is someone whose ideals will aspire to emulate. Say what you want, but having no scruples will serve him well. So Regan has become sadistic there. Just like his uh, father. Right, everything's looking fine. Just got to keep an eye on this. Let's go ahead and uh, attack these armies here. We should be able to catch them off guard. That should be a very easy victory for us, of course. My only fear here is they're going to siege much faster than we can intercept them. Let's go ahead uh, and look at this. Oh, that's a very good battle for us there. Well, they're not actually sieging too long. Wow. What's the numbers looking like right now? 87,000? <laughs> oh, this is horrible. 
Okay, 7,000 new enemies are landing. If we go down here, I think we can target these guys. That should be fine. Luckily, our allies seem to be... Enemies left the war. Okay, you, that's just because you lost your title, though. Not because you think you're losing, right? Uh, which is unfortunate for us. When the time comes, my agents will need a safe escape route out of Pope Urbanus's temple should anything go wrong. A detailed map of the local farmlands with all its hidden paths and caves would be an invaluable resource. Uh, explore the farmlands myself. That's because I'm a novice hunter. Let's go ahead and do that. There we go. We have managed to catch this smaller army off guard and unprepared. We've captured uh, another enemy there as well. Now, whilst the war score is looking favourable for us at the moment, I don't expect it to look like this uh, for much longer, of course. It's going to be a tough fight. While hosting lords and ladies from realms near and far, some opportunities to portray my spy master, Duke Adrad, in a good light have presented themselves. My lord, Prato, who is the most chivalrous person you have heard of? Um... Well, me, of course. <laughs> ah, damn it. My daughter, Gaifer, and her little friend, Aura, had taken a copy of the scriptures from the study and brought it into the playroom. They spent hours trying to understand what was written on its pages, talking about Jesus and the many mysteries of the divine. Gaifer seems to have developed a deep respect for the words of the Irish Orthodox faith. Uh, you do well treating holy words with reverence. So Gaifer is humble. Does not ask for much in life. There we go. Um, looks like my daughter is being raised. Oh, we're getting quite a few battles in here. Uh, and our champions are performing exceptionally well. I don't think we've actually lost a champion as of yet. Let's not go ahead and curse that though. We're about to win another battle there. Look at that. Uh, things are going very smoothly. Let's go ahead and interrupt this siege of course. This army is going to be caught off guard as well. There are more enemies arriving on the coast. Look at this. Uh, things... Oh, do we stand a chance? Oh, more enemies are arriving. Um, damn it. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead. We can probably win this war uh, battle. I mean... My agents have scheduled a journey for Pope Urbanus which would take them through dark woods. All that is missing is the band of thugs that would tragically slay them in a highway robbery gone wrong. I can already imagine blood seeping into the dark soil. Uh, I think we're going to have to try it. We are in a time of a great holy war and the numbers certainly uh, aren't on our side. So I think risks must be taken and the woods can be such a dangerous place. Let's go ahead and attempt it. Maybe we have a little bit of luck here. Pope Urbanus escaped unharmed. My hired thugs failed to overpower his retinue. Worse still, a few of them were captured alive and revealed that they had been paid for the attack. It did not take long to trace the payment back to me. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, typical bandits, they will say anything to get off lightly. Okay. We failed there. That's not good. Can I go in here and see who has 41 allies? I just think I broke the game pressing that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, maybe it's best that we go through this menu. We can for sure now see where uh, a lot of the strength lays. Is there anyone in here? I mean, he has 3,300. We're kind of just looking for someone, like maybe closer to 10,000. Maybe we can damage them. Uh, and things would be fine. It's not looking that way though, is it? I think there was one candidate up here though. This guy here, the, the Duke of Savoy. Maybe we can get a, a good old murder in there. Uh, we'll have to see how that goes. Uh, I will actually go ahead uh, and put my spy master on support schemes as well. We need all the help we can get here. And our gold isn't looking too bad uh, thanks to our recent exploits. So let's go ahead and initiate this battle. Um, this is probably going to be the biggest battle yet if all of these enemies do decide to reinforce. Luckily, all of our allies seem to be working together as of right now. There we go. Let's go ahead and take a look at this battle. Oh, look at that. Our champion's doing formidable work. It seems when we're united for the faith. Um, oh, <laughs> uh, we perform much better. That's... Oh, damn it. How bad is the number? 71,000. We've really not 
for a massive dent in them. I think we can go over here. We still outnumber them a lot. This siege is going to be stopped. So let's go back west. Uh, we need to go ahead and deal with this sieging and then the sieging in Cornwall as well. Really, the, the stuff in England is, is the big stuff I just need to prevent. Uh, and it looks like there's a lot of movement going on. We should be able to win this battle. Uh, I have faith, uh, I've, as do all of my vassals who join in me in this war. We've gained some intrigue, which is nice. Let's keep an eye on this battle here. Look at that, the advantage wasn't in our moment, uh, in our favour there. And it does seem... Oh, we might have just lost our first champions. There's our knight. He was slain by Sancho. And our knight, Ol Oskdor, was slain by Drobomir. Uh, that's our first two big losses, I think, there. But we did win the battle. Let's go ahead and pull a stop to this siege. We have the numbers to do so. The war score is very much in our favour as well at 47%. So we're not doing absolutely terrible. Ah, oh, damn it. I think my Count's Chancellor just died in that battle. My cousin and vassal absolutely hates me. So I'm going to pick you because at least you like me. You can demand payments. Oh, that's my daughter. Uh, you don't have any gold, so that's worthless. Let's jump back into the battle. A lot of enemies joining us here. There we go. Another battle goes our way. We oh, had another one of our knights was also slain there, unfortunately. We might have to go ahead and help our allies here. They've found themselves another battle. Let's go ahead and assist them. Oh, look at this. <laughs> How do you keep track of all of this? <laughs> This is absolutely chaotic stuff. Wow. Uh, I'm actually just going to quickly grab a screenshot of that. What is happening? Uh, I've never been a defender of a holy... Or of, of a crusade before. Sorry, not a holy war. Crusade. This really came unexpectedly. Oh, look at that. Uh, very good performance there, guys. We found ourselves in another battle here. Uh, my spies have informed me about a hunter causing a ruckus at the local tavern. The man has been spending large amounts of gold and bragging loudly about the great deal he struck with a fancy lady in pearls and silk. Apparently, he drew a map of the local plains for an unknown noblewoman. The spies think the lady must be scheming against me or one of my subjects. That idiot belongs in my dungeon. Yes, uh, he's helping the enemy uh, in the time of a great war. Uh, he should be punished and put in the dungeon for that. Oh, wow, this is really hard to keep up with everything. I might just have to zoom out a little bit as well. Uh, sometimes uh, I get in a bit. Uh, the, the game struggles a little bit. I think with this many units in one area. Just If I zoom out, can I just see how many in total there are? Uh, unfortunately not. Right, there we go. We've, got, we've still got this battle underway. Uh, we've just won that battle. We managed to kill one of their knights as well. Where's our army? We need to go and stop this siege. Where's our allies? 27... Okay, yeah, we still we still have the numbers to do this. Uh, it's absolutely fine. Let's go ahead and stop this siege. Oh, I have a good feeling about this. 85%. Let's go ahead and check those battles. That's looking like another promising battle. This one is... Oh, look at this! I think the Pope's going to think again uh, before striking uh, the Empire of Ireland. Let's go ahead and stop this siege. We're, we've almost won the, the crusade. Uh, absolutely insane stuff here. And there we go. We've won an, another battle here. The Battle of Portsmouth ended in an astounding victory. I eagerly listened to the messenger as he reads the report from my commander, King Krundmel, and then turned to the soldiers before me. My lord, we came upon the enemy banner while we were cleaning the battlefield. We thought it would be a shame to leave it behind. Perhaps you wish to keep it as a trophy. No. Pull it on the celebration pyre. Burn it for all of the Catholics to see. And uh, when they cross us, this is what happens. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, looks like another very good battle there. Um, we need to go ahead and interrupt this siege now. I hope no one's sieging Dublin. Yeah, Dublin is safe. Did I just... Oh, no. Stop unpausing and pausing. 
I can't see this. I think one of our armies didn't have a commander. Uh, look at that. The advantage is not looking good. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. To the evil Emperor Aiden. Your low character is the subject of Greek plays. I know when I am defeated. It seems I am left with no choice but to comply with your demands. 5,472 uh, piety divided amongst the participants and 21,000 prestige. Sadly, no gold and Catholic, uh, Catholicism further. Decreased by 15. So be it. Let's go ahead and disband the men so we stop leaking gold. The pitiful soldiers of St. George were no match to our warriors. Under the wise and pious leadership of Emperor Aidan, the Irish Orthodox faithful repelled the invaders and reaffirmed once more their claim over England. Perhaps next time the Catholic King Bishop would not be so eager to throw away the life of his followers in a futile attempt to test the power of St. George. The infidels tasted the wrath of St. George. Look at that. I really did not think we stood a chance there. Uh, even Bella. Uh, we had a very good battle as well. <laughs> we can ransom prisoners. So are we fine? We're, we're, we're all good now? Oh wow. That was tense. That was chaotic. We need to have a look at repairing these trinkets. That was... That was horrible. So, how much did we share in the loot there? I don't think we got very much, even though we were contributing quite a bit, I feel like. You know what we should do now? I really want to create the Head of Faith title. Um, your realm does not contain at least one Irish Orthodox holy site within Irish Orthodox holders wait where's our holy sites over here ah uh. oh this okay that's not really gonna happen anytime soon is it <laughs> let's be real probably not okay that's because uh i remember now one of the our previous rulers was actually orthodox and then we can um reformed orthodox rather than insularism so that's why our holy sites are all the way down there now uh, we can ransom some prisoners for gold so i will do that let's go ahead and get some gold rolling in it's uh, very much needed. And then, with the rest of our prisoners, let's just wait for the ransoms to clear first. There we go. Uh, those are all going through. Uh, Countess Sinek has approached me, claiming she has discovered who was behind a failed murder plot against Ingrid. She has offered to provide me with everything she knows, including names and evidence in exchange for a favour to be rendered on a future date. I'm not letting you blackmail me. Uh, some stones of Bella left unturned. Yeah. Screw that. Right. Prisoners. Anyone who's Catholic, can I execute them? I can. Burn at the stake. You rose against me. And for that, you will suffer. Uh, your Christiani. Never heard of that. <laughs> um... Palabian, you're Catholic, so I assume you rose against me. Uh, you're going to burn at the stake as well for this. Uh, you're also Catholic. There we go. We're going on a, a mass burning here. You want to try and invade the Irish Empire? And then you will suffer the consequences. There's no two ways around that. This is going to do wonders for our dread, isn't it? There we go. Uh, I don't think any of these currently hold lands, though. Not at the moment. They are of houses, though. You're also Catholic. I didn't realise that. Oh, you're Irish Orthodox. There we go. You're Catholic. As are you. <laughs> oh, you're insular. That's fine. Uh, you're Irish Orthodox. Okay, I think we've... Uh, uh, we, what we've done there... You're a part of my dynasty. So why are you in house arrest? No idea. I'm just going to leave you guys there. Uh, so now we've punished these guys. Let's go ahead and unpause and see what kind of uh, things can unravel themselves to us. Look at that. Gold is looking very good. Can we upgrade anything in Dublin? We're just missing technologies. That's our problem here, really, isn't it? We might be able to 
upgrade Athlone, though. With the recent upset among the peasants and mortiers, one of my agents has presented a unique suggestion for taking care of Duke Cole. With coin in the right pockets and agitators on every corner, we could stage an entire riot. Ah, we don't need to do this anymore. Uh, we've already won the Holy War. Let's go ahead and abandon the murder. Instead, what I'm going to do is let's go back to fabricating some hooks. For example, we could fabricate a hook against the Pope. Let's go ahead and do that. And then what we could also do... I think Aquitaine was involved with that war. Let's go ahead and fabricate a hook there as well. And try and take some of their wealth from them. Uh, I think that would be very nice to do. God's wounds, those accursed children, my son Regan and his compatriot Eastman were caught red-handing, having snuck into the armory. Don't they know what we uh, that weapons are dangerous? One of the servants caught them in the act. Eastman was crying and bleeding on the floor, while Regan simply played on his played on with his stolen axe. Now, apparently Regan didn't want to stop having fun just because Eastman messed up. Okay. So Regan is arbitrary and he's growing closer Ah no. You're going to form a rival. You're a kid. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, do what you want. It doesn't bother me. Right, Athlone. We can go ahead and actually upgrade Athlone. There are some buildings here. Now, are these the buildings I want, though? We're primarily focused on bowmen, which are archers. So, first of all, we probably want buildings that focus on archers. Is that any of these? That's tax. Tax is good as well. This is also tax. This is levies. Yeah, this is wooden barracks is not good. That's for heavy infantry and spearmen damage. This does give us archer damage. So what can we replace the wooden barracks with? Hunting grounds would give us tax. Let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to build hunting grounds here. Uh, Dublin... That's taxes, that's taxes. Okay, Dublin is just our money generation uh, by the looks of it. Uh, Cambridge is we want to build up, so that's looking at tax. I don't think we need this one. That's tax again. That's tax. So let's uh, replace this one here. And what I'm going to build there is the military camps, because that would give us archer damage. There we go. Uh, just optimize thing a bit. Spend some of this gold we've managed to uh, accumulate. As for Norwich... Can't build this. That's got... Oh, that's Archer Cavalry. Oh, but it gives us tax. Okay, we're earning a lot of tax here. So I guess we'll just leave that. That's fine. Now, what we could do... Is increase development in Cambridge. Because if we want to develop a university or found a university... We have the fame... But we need development equal to 40 in Cambridge. As of right now, Cambridge only has 13 development. So let's get on the development path there. Uh, that should be fine. Anglo-Saxon Catholic populists have risen against me. Oh dear. Uh, my agents have made contact with Bartholomew, a servant in my acquaintance King Offon's castle. With the right incentive, he is willing to start some whispers about King Offon not being nearly as noble as he seems. Uh, a sympathetic ear. Yeah, we, we're not going to spend this gold. It's absolutely fine. Uh, let's just get on with it. Right. Uh, the following faction has disbanded. The Mercy and Irish Orthodox Populace. Yeah, see? They've changed their tone. Now we defended them against the Catholics. Oh, we've got another stewardship perk. Hmm... Vassal tax contribution would be nice. I would like to go back to Skullduggery though. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we've got some uh, stewardship there, which is fine. We can demand payments first. I'm going to put my wife back on managed domain as well. That should just help this uh, get some more money there. Propose alliance. To the sensible Emperor Aidan of Ireland, despite our lack of bonds by blood, I believe we both stand to gain from an alliance. I propose that we join our forces and fight our foes together. Uh, vassal in Hungary. Um, nah. Unless you're going to pay me. If you were to pay me gold, then I, I would happily accept that. Uh, but you're not. Right. What we really need to do, now that we've recovered from our, our times of...
debt. I think the Bank of Ireland is finally going to hold us, uh, let us host uh, an exotic feast once more. So let's go ahead and send the invitations and celebrate beating back the Catholics out of Ireland. Greetings, my sensible liege. I've arrived in Dublin to pay homage to you, glorious emperor, as a show of my loyalty. I hope my pledge of submission alone is evidence enough of my honour. Let's go ahead and show in Duke Philippos. The guests are gathered in the great hall, lords and ladies from the near and far reaches of the realm. The mood is bright and spirits are high as the feast begins. Welcome, friends. Let's go ahead and see who uh, didn't turn up here. Oh, my cousin, the King of Wales. Also, the Queen of Scotland hasn't shown herself, uh, but plenty of people did, including the Queen of England. I would hope so. Uh, I just helped to defend you. <laughs> well, what's going on here? A little bit of civil war in Ireland, it seems. What started as an ordinary feast became an exceptional one thanks to the presence of Queen Eifney. We spoke all evening about all manner of subjects, and as things would have it, we seem to have a lot in common. I had such a good time with her. What a good evening. There we go. Now we grow closer to forming a friendship there. And it looks like my Chancellor's been doing good stuff as well and improving our relations with her as well. That's uh, looking sweet. With my continued continual serving of the delicious foods, most guests have given up eating for the night, simply enjoying the entertainment. I am happy to see that Queen Eiffley knows better. She and I are both eager to taste as long as there is food. I bet I can out-eat her. Yes! <laughs> Let's try it. Uh, we lost the wounded trait. We overate so much we wounded ourselves. Oh dear. Um, this character's great. With everyone headed home from uh, with bellies full of exotic delicacies, I am proud to say that the feast was a success. I have my wife Ermengarde to thank for much of its success and I feel nothing but gratitude as she sees the last few guests off. Until next time, there we go. Uh, and I think until next time, uh, that's also going to be that for this episode. So we, we finally got out of debt. And we also defended against the Great Crusade for England against all of the Catholics, which I wasn't expecting to do today. Uh, but Crusader Kings always throws you curveballs like that. And luckily, we came out on top. Uh, our levies also looking very good there. 11,000 troops ready to defend for land. Prestige is decent. Uh, and look at the gold. Finally looking better. But that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching, as always. And I'll see you on Wednesday.